Hey there, Mr. D here with you. Thanks for watching this blog. Um, one of my instructors once asked me if I would trade all the years of my martial arts experience, everything I've learned, all the conditioning, mental, physical, all the knowledge, for a million dollars. And my first reaction, like right off the bat, was, yeah, I probably would, a million bucks, wow. And then that question grew on me for a while. In fact, it was kind of bugging me and annoying me. And I kept thinking about it and all the different benefits I received. And between the military and martial arts, they gave me so much consistent discipline and goal setting and, and working on self-improvement that, who knows, I, maybe at this point in my life I might have been dead. Who knows? I had some destructive habits uh, when I was younger, in my teens, and so before I went into the military, which is how I learned martial arts, uh, you know, it, it changed me a lot. It really turned me around, almost a one, 180 degree. Um, so, uh, you know, just kind of a misguided youth. So, uh, th and this is why I'm so passionate for what I do here, is, is I try to give kids and even adults and everybody's a lot of direction and a lot of leadership because I know both paths. So, uh, and and believe me, this one it leads to much more happiness, much more success, and much more of a purpose. And I think it aligns with our Christian values and everything. So I thought about it, and boy, maybe at this age I might have been out of shape, fat, unhealthy, you know, and probably miserable, you know, not very proud of myself. And, but because martial arts um, and, you know, the military too gave me so much discipline and it, it really bumped up my self-esteem. It gave me a lot of hope. Uh, it allowed me to travel and get better educated and so many other uh, things, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, that, that it's helped with that I look at it now and say, no, I wouldn't trade. I don't know if there's any amount of money, honestly. Think of people, too. I mean, a million dollars is one kind of wealth, okay? It's one kind of prosperity. You know, it's, it's important to have prosperity in your life, but uh, a lot of people have it, and they have talent and everything else to boot. I, I could think recently of Robin Williams, and yet they end up taking their life they end up unhappy or they end up a derelict or they end up with some demons. And I think if you're constantly improving yourself mentally, physically, constantly challenging yourself, there's always a new day. There's always a little bit brighter. It's very hard to get depressed with that or to get wallowed up in self-pity in that. So if there's always a new challenge, always improving yourself also, you're making the world a better place. You're setting a good example for children, for adults. You know, for a guy 54, I'm setting a pretty good example of, of you know, keeping up with 18-year-olds as far as conditioning and, and, you know, at least doing my best to do that. So I would have to say no. Uh, I don't know if you could put a price. I, I suppose if you, you know, set all of Bill Gates' money, I, I suppose I'd be an idiot if I turned that down. But I'll tell you, we have got health and wealth and and all, many kinds of prosperity. Just training, ki nutrition, keeping our bodies healthy, uh, you know, having a martial arts family, setting goals. So what's life's about? So I want you to ask yourself that question. Yeah, especially if you've received, reached some rank, if you've got at least brown belt and up, you know, would you, for all the money it costs you to do it, if I could give that back to you, which would you rather have, your martial arts experience or that money? Come up to me sometime and let me know that. I'd like to hear your experience. Keep watching these podcasts. If you uh, like these messages and, and the training that I like to give on these podcasts, check out my Facebook page, Jack DeSouza 4. Thank you very much.